what we will tell you what we're about to do. Okay. Um, spoiler a lot, it is. Yes. Oh, that's that's going to be a two minute video. Is that, but wait, yes. but, but <laughs> yes, it's our channel, it. is it worth keeping a house car? Yes, it is. Yes. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us, time. Mel. Sorry, we'll just kidding. You. you guys, I'm worried about their farm. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if we bring the cows back here? No. That was good. What happens if we bring the cows back here? <laughs> You happy with that picture, Paul? Yeah, I reckon. It's good. Are you sitting down? Sit in the big chair, big daddy chair, big daddy. Big daddy? Yeah. Don't forget her big daddy. Can I actually see? Oh, do you do that? No. No, no, that would be a trigger. Okay. Who's your daddy? No. Um, hello. I don't know who my daddy is. Hello. How you going? I'm good. How are you going? I'm going great. Yeah. It's always nice to have a leisurely stroll down to the calves and uh, can we call them calves? Still? Well, until no. they're, I don't know, maybe no. half grown. They're, they're still calves. We yes. don't even know how old they are still, so <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, welcome back to both of our channels. We are um, Hunt and Gather. We are hunting together. That's not the word I was. I was oh, oh, right. <laughs> I know who we are. Yeah. We're hunting together. But what I was going to say is we are. Um, we're back. <laughs> I guess. Hey. Yeah. Um, tried to get a few goals set and we've hit them pretty well. We've had a good day today. We've been out um, building our house. Uh, there's probably going to be some stuff coming out about that. But there is. We haven't filmed there too is. much about it, but man, we're going really Don't fast. Don't want to bore you, but we also want to document yeah. it, so. Yeah, Quite watching right. bricks being laid is a bit like watching grass growing, so we haven't done too much of that. But yeah. hey, we've been stacking bricks on top of each other like Lego, and um, we're building a big house. So we're nearly there for the first floor. Uh, and now we decided to come out and see Mel, because we're going to pick up um, a trailer, but we're just going to put this off for a week. So we're trying to chat. Mel's you just don't care about my house. <laughs> no, that's right. Tells you a lot of them are on your channel. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, which is great. This homesteading community thing. Is Why it? are we picking up a horse boat though? Sorry. Well, let's start with something else first. Okay. This yeah. has been a tough one for you guys. I know that. So, um, it's in in a lot of ways, actually, tough to swallow. Yeah. yeah. Tough. To emotionally, be, um, quite taxing. Yes. Mm. Um, I've noticed yep. a little bit of heartbreak and stuff and you know, as happens when you have something unexpected happen with an animal. Um, you guys have seen me go through something different but yeah. also unexpected with, yeah. with Valley. But no less heartbreaking, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So, um, I know we didn't really know how to segue into it but we wanted to make this together yep. as a team because homesteading is a team sport, right? <laughs> but also... Um, when things go down that are really tough, you lean on your homestead community and true. your friends. Yeah. And I know this one was tough for you guys, but we felt it necessary to bring you guys a video about what we've learned in the time so far when it comes to keeping a house cow. Um, I'm going to make a video as well later down the track um, about whether it's worth it. I've heard that question asked a lot of times in Australia. Um, so that's going to be down the track and we've got another spoiler very... a lot it is yes <laughs> that's, that's going to be a two minute video is that... but wait yes. but, but yes, our channel. is it worth keeping a house car yes it is yes. thanks for joining us thanks for joining us mel sorry we'll see you next time. <laughs> mel's no, not doing that video now i think that, they, I think that <laughs> people want to know kind of nitty gritty about yeah. what's involved yeah i mean we've done it for a bit now so we kind of know yeah one, the pitfalls, but two, also yeah. what's involved, yeah. the things that can crop up, and I'm sure we haven't even met all the things that can crop oh, up. No. Right? I'm pretty sure we haven't. No. no. We've um, had a good run of crazy okay. stuff going down. Yeah. Like, man, you've seen it all from but also, cows on the loose to... Um, Les and I and Mel don't shy away from a good adventure, um, we just love it. 
So our last one worked out so well for us mm. that we have decided to go into a partnership. Yeah. Mm. Um, and we wanted to do this for a couple of reasons. Both of us individually could have done it separately. Um, but we know that it's not always something that you guys can do um, easily, especially if you don't have a large, large piece of land mm. or you're not quite ready for it or it's just a little bit daunting because I know when I was a kid, I used to milk a cow. But then when I got my own cow as an adult, I was like, ooh, like it was a lot. Yeah. Mm. And I was like, oof, this is a lot. No wonder no, not many people yeah. are doing it. You can't go, hey, mama, hey, dad. It's like, no, so, you're on your own here. Yeah. <laughs> I think another reason why people don't do it nowadays is because um, we live in a culture of rush, 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 and, um, and instant gratification and there's no time to sit there and milk a cow and do all the things that you've got to do with the milk once you've got it but like it's just been bred out of us for a lifestyle of convenience and i couldn't agree more with that um yeah anyway, 100 i don't even know if that was relevant for this video no it is it's all relevant <laughs> because it's again we are doing two separate parts of this partnership yeah. right yeah. yeah but it's going to work as one partnership mm. um, so what we will tell you what we're about to do okay. um, these guys are grabbing the horse float and they're gonna go on a long drive to a good friend um, <laughs> good friend. Well, we've been on lots of long drives to this guy's place I'm sure yeah. the car has it he's a good friend to there. these guys um, and they've yeah. been down a few times and created a relationship with him which is what this is all about yeah. right yeah um, and they have we are going to go into partnership of owning a milk cow together so. Which might seem weird to you because Mel already has milk cows. Yeah. And how do we cut a cow in half when we decide to go our own way? I don't know. How do we do that? Right. With a bandsaw? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, okay, the milk cool. cows don't go in the fridge. Okay, Not cool. at my house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these guys are going to purchase a Jersey cow that they have tested. Yep. And it fits the bill of what they're after for their future breeding program. Um, that cow is going to come here with her, their baby. Um, so she's given birth to a bull calf, which is not good, and we don't want that. No idea. Totally read the plan of going yeah. down and doing testing. We were but just going right. to test the cows, choose the one that we wanted. She was going to give birth to a beautiful purebred Jersey heifer calf, um, and and everything would run smoothly. But <laughs> All if you've been watching tested. along with us for a while, you know that nothing ever runs smoothly. Mm. Ever. We couldn't have planned this no. mockery. <laughs> right, we tested how many cows did we pick? Mo we picked all these cows and yeah. not one of them came out. No, one of them came out with a beautiful heifer, <laughs> pure jersey. red jersey cow. Uh, not one. Not, not a one. single one. Not a one. So uh, that's how the chips fall, right? But, but now we know how to test cows and... Um, Which we'll show you yeah. soon. Are we doing that story that's, here? I think this is probably when you start before we... Yeah. I reckon this is where we really need to start it, hey? Yeah. So, do you want to start with how it started or... Okay, so how it started. Um, obviously, we have known Mel for a, a really long time <laughs> and have visited her house, her old, not this beautiful homestead, but her old house where she first had her cow. And um, I'm just going to go back a, just a little bit before that. Um, ever since I was about four or five, I've always wanted a cow. Always. And I was going to name it Clementine. Haha, <laughs> isn't that funny? Um, I've just always wanted a Jersey cow. And so when I saw that um, Mel had got Deirdre and baby Clementine, I was like, oh man, she's living out my dream. Um, and it just lit that fire again, something that I didn't think was going to be possible for a really long time. Um, and so Mel um, introduced us, I guess. Yep, so these guys had come out and were like, oh, sh show me how it works. And we'd, we'd milked Deirdre and sh I'd showed them how I managed the cow calf yep. sharing scenario. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know whether you guys thought, oh yeah, that's actually quite manageable. For me, I liked calf share because uh, if there's something good happening on a weekend and I don't want to have to hang over the next morning or whatever, whatever, I can leave the calf on. So, and everyone does it differently, right? 
and that's what we're we're here to sort of talk about. Yeah. Let's do it so it suits us because it absolutely can. It's not a cookie cutter thing where you must do this and you must do that and everyone's doing it differently. Mm. I had got Deirdre and Clementine and then the person I bought Deirdre and Clementine off um, was helping sort of assist me through it was Deirdre's first calf, so, and I started getting a bit panicky that maybe she was getting mastitis and things. So then it very quickly became Deirdre, Clementine, and T-Bone. Uh, and it, that was a bit overwhelming, but then these guys were like, oh, okay, how did, how did that work out? And I sort of said who I was using for my um, cow knowledge and expertise and where I'd got my cow from, and, and they were like, yeah, cool. You know, we, we think we could probably do that. Like, let's look into it. Let, you know, can we meet her? And I was like, yeah, sure. So we I, we all introduced each other and whatnot, and these guys got to know her really well. And a deal was put on the table for them to be able to get a cow that this lady had um, purchased off another up and coming Jersey farm, I should say. Uh, I'm not going to name any names no, because no, um, no name it's not about that. It's sort of mm. about because there are so many things that can happen, good and bad, mm. that. It's worth talking about. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we here we are again, like really. You know, like, We're doing it again. It, didn't, yeah. it wasn't enough to put anyone off. No. And we don't no, have any not. ill feelings or yeah. anything like that. We've learned heaps from it all. Yeah. Learning experience for sure. Yeah. yeah. But also like, you know, it can break your heart as well. And I know it's taking us a long time to get to this story. This <laughs> yeah. happened quite some time ago. It yeah. did. Um, and I did watch these guys sort of go through real heartache and like oh it's not gonna happen like it didn't happen for us um, and I think that's why it sort of makes me feel good that we're doing this now because it can be happy and it can be a nice experience um, they're not always like that but this can be yeah. you know yeah and let's give it another crack right so they got their cow she was being quietened because apparently had had a calf that had died from a snake bite so we think maybe fairly traumatic experience That's is what we were told and yeah. and when it comes to this you kind of got to take the person's word for it yeah, yeah. um we had nothing else to go on so. exactly and, and i'd had such a great experience and was polar opposites to what you guys had, <laughs> yeah right? it was yeah. so and i felt awful for that i was like oh god like that didn't happen to me but it happened to these guys so they bought beautiful Claudia and she had not yet calved so she was pregnant yeah. um, and all the things that they wanted and and then adjusted her at a, at a place and then do you guys want to go into sort of yeah so um, the, the person that we bought Claudia off helped us find an adjustment place for her um, because we weren't quite ready yet obviously to um, have her we actually, we actually had a deal almost signed and sealed. Um, and the reason was, we decided to go ahead with it yeah. is because we had um, kind of a deal like this where... Um, with someone else. With, yeah. with someone else, yeah. um, where she would be <laughs> living and, there and like the same, pretty much the same kind of deal. Um, actually, we did sort of have a deal with Mel, but Mel literally moved house. When this was all going to happen, that week. <laughs> Mel was like the Mel was like the backup if this went pear shaped. But so it went pear shaped. We went pear shaped. And, Mel, said, and, then, oh, and then Mel, Mel moved like at the same time. And was, I'm out of here, oh, guys. <laughs> just, Mel's going. This is not happening. I was like, yeah, fair enough. That's not what happened. So in the meantime, the shire told me get rid of your cow. I was like, oh, oh yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. So it all went pear shaped for us. Like it was, so we had to find emergency. Um, Home in for, which was for awesome. Like, which worked out really, really well. Yeah. Um, the the person where she was staying was just lovely, really, and, um, and lots of knowledge. Lots oh, and lots of cow. Yeah. Like she is so wise with cow knowledge and farming knowledge. Yeah. And, Actually, could go and learn stuff from her. Too. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. So we um, carried that on. She was happy to have Claudia there for carving, and um, you know. After that as well, there was not really any rush to move her, so we felt comfortable mm. going into that. Um, and then she carved, and then everything turned pear yeah. shaped very quickly. Really bad. Um, so when Claudia carved, it was the middle of the night, and um, the person whose property it was went out there to assist, um, and 
almost got killed, really. <laughs> she was the cow. Claudia just was a cow. And she's not a fool. She's she's been around bulls in the whole lot and this scene. Yeah, she's trying very to take her experienced. Out. because she hadn't been disbutted yet, so she was very, very violent. Didn't let anyone near the calf or her, or she was just she was totally different. Animal. So man, I can't believe it. Was I I even just she say, freaked a switch yeah. and is psychotic. Yeah. You guys were going out there sometimes yeah. four times a week, and just patting her, feeding her, getting to know her, and she was a totally different animal. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. The only time I think I ever found a bit of a challenge with her was when we tried to get her into that pen. Yeah. Um, which you've probably seen it was like a comedy of errors. errors. I like. But anyway, it was like it was, it was. Like she now. got in there and everything was fine. And um, once we got her in there, she chewed out a bit. We just wanted to get her settled and stuff. But oh my goodness, from then on, she uh, was she, just. Yeah, she was different crazy. Animal. Totally different yeah. animal. It's like the rush of hormones or something. Yeah. Now, now we don't know why that happened. We don't know if it if it's because of the experience of losing her calf to a snake bite, if that happened. Or, we don't know or if whether she was taken the, if the calf was ripped from her right after birth and she was feeling super protective with her second she wasn't baby. That happened again. Um we don't know if she'd been mistreated during a carving, like her first carving. Like we just had no idea. She there were so many unknowns surrounding variables here. Yeah, and um and it was at that point where we started to maybe question what we've been told about her. We were under the impression that um if she was carving between this month and this month that it would be a purebred Jersey calf. Um, but if it was after that, it, it might be an Angus or Murray Gray, Mur yeah. Murray Gray, Gray yeah. a Murray Gray. Um, and then when she carved and the baby came out, clearly a Murray Gray. We were like, well, this doesn't line up with the timeline. And but then we dug deeper changed and found and that the timeline didn't add up with her getting pregnant the, the death of the baby. Time. Yeah. yeah. No, like, that didn't. So we don't. We don't nothing know. lined up at all. So it turned out that what we thought we knew, we actually didn't. Yeah. Anything. So all we knew is we had a cow and a new baby cow. Um, and we were really excited about the baby, but then it was just so dangerous to be around her. I, we could not get into the pen with her at all. Uh, the, where um, were they reducing that? She actually wouldn't let us in there um, because she was safety. for just safety. pure safety. Yeah. Uh, and I'm man, I'll give anything a crack. I'll jump in with a bull and do stupid stuff all the time. <laughs> and, you know, and I'm I'm like yeah, you know, whatever happens happens, but. Um, I, I'll even, when I looked at that, I was going, man, this thing is a nutcase. And it was too hard, and we couldn't risk She was milking. supposed to be our house cow, yeah. and there was no way I'd have her near my kids. No. Yeah. Just no way. Yeah. So we were presented with an offer that we really couldn't. She was um, really helpful. That's she was. Gave us an opportunity we couldn't knock back. Yeah, really. yeah. So we're the person who was adducing her for us. Um, was super amazing and offered to buy her. Yeah. And we took that option yeah. because she knew what to do with her. She knew how to handle her. And she had a business plan really that she, she could fit into. Yeah. It just blend into a business plan that they had um, on the farm. So. Wasn't wasn't in her plan to no. do this, but uh, you know, out of the kindness of her heart, she did. And it was out of the kindness of her heart. Yeah, a hundred percent. She did not need to do this it, for us. It was that, or she was going to have to go to market, um, which is pretty. If she was already owned by that yeah. lady, that lady said she was yeah. sending her to market. Yeah. yeah. So you know, like it's it worked out really well for us. Um, Bad, but we chalked it up to a learning curve, um, experience. Yeah. What the slate clean. Yep. Start again. <laughs> Yeah, um, but it was we it, we did because yeah. we like we believe everything happens for a reason, a hundred percent. And if we had had gone with our original plan of having her at our other friend's house, um, that could have just been disastrous. She's got like five kids. She's got kids running yeah. around. Um, she doesn't have the experience with horses either. Uh, horses with cows either. Um, you have horses. <laughs> and, yeah. um, and it just could have been really bad. But if we had have taken her home to our farm mm. and she had have carved and we weren't expecting that and we weren't experienced with that scenario, then that also could have been really fatal. Or one of your kids just going, oh, look. Oh, yeah. look, her baby. Oh. Like, yeah. so 
we firmly believe that this happened for a reason yeah. and we we are thankful for the the way that it was resolved yeah. um if this but, happened to someone else though there is options as well for yeah, anyone absolutely 100%. You know, so you're not going to be left with a cow you've bought for all this money and then go oh what am i going to do with it there's there's options the same way that like they can go to market or they can be sold to someone else who is who more experienced to be able to do that so and which, that's another reason yeah. why community is so important yeah. so you have those people that you can call for yeah. help or, yeah. or so it's not you're not just contacts. doing it on your own you yeah. can literally say man i've got a cow that i can't use no. and that's where we're at but um there was not there was a way out and there's always a way out you know what i mean and you just need to find it yeah and it doesn't mean you're going to be losing all the money that you put in you might look you might lose some and that's part of life but um we didn't end up losing all our money out of it you know what i mean we came out pretty good we came um, out square yeah we came out square and financially but emotionally i mean also you could say you came out square because mate the knowledge that you gained yes, yes. was huge yes at the end of the day we learned on a on a cow that we didn't have to get an end result on you know what i mean if we had worked with training this thing um from a car from a car well it probably would have turned out different yeah but you, never definitely know. Would have. you never know so i think maybe is a good time to now interject with a few little things for you guys that we feel uh would be beneficial to do if you're house cow shopping mm. right yeah, yeah. so it, that's the exciting part is house cow shopping yeah. um in fact i had someone here today who's house cow shopping um <laughs> because i mean if you're on my channel you'll see that i have quite a few uh that can't i, I can't just keep every one that i'm ever going to have why? so why not? Um, i don't understand that so don't you just keep stacking them up you guys <laughs> i'm worried about their farm <laughs> we, i feel like there'll be you'll be like opening a gate to put a cow in and you'll be like like a tupperware cupboard <laughs> the cow move, up, move up front move up front we've got one coming <laughs> Keep all the cows. <laughs> Don't keep all the cows. <laughs> all of them. Oh, yeah. I think that we'll flash forward to all of them. We'll see how they feel about it then. However, passionate. We'll feel passionate. The number one thing that I have to say that I learned from watching you guys horrible experience, and I felt terrible. We cried. Um, Oh, lots. And that's why this video is coming out so far after the fact. Yeah, because it was like heartbreaking. Fun. And when you love your animals like you guys do, it is like, you felt like, I know, Les, you felt like you were giving up on her. Yeah, that was, I wasn't super, like, Meg's, Meg's did cry, there's no doubt about it. Um, to me, I was like, um, I just felt like I'd let the person down that we were adjusting at that. I felt like I'd let yeah. our family down. And I just felt like that, uh, for me personally, I just felt, that there's lots of people who were in this picture that I let down. So I wasn't super sad for the cow. The cow, like the oh, man. At the end of the day, like man, you're gonna have a farm, you're gonna lose animals all the time. And man, if you want to see a chook record, pretty bad, <laughs> right? but that's another story. Um, so, so you know, like there's there's that. But uh, I was just angry that I'd let everyone down. So it's one of those things where you've just got to cop it and say yep you know what I stuffed up or life just doesn't always fall how you want it <laughs> which we definitely know that's well. yourself because I don't think you did anything no no I know but you know like there's people that like oh, I just want to be able to fix if something's broken I just want to be able to fix it yeah. and unfortunately I had to lean on people that I already lent on to help out mm -hmm. and that's what led us that's what I was a bit annoyed about yeah, we don't mind doing that yeah um so the number one thing that I can say that I learned from watching that is to really don't be afraid to get to know that animal and the person selling it should not have a problem with that. If they love that animal, they would want you to. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and if that is not the case, walk away. Um, and that's something I've learned. Um, in my own personal experience, I took on something that I thought I could help and it turned out badly for me. I've had a similar experience. Um, and you can't save them all. You might see this horrible, scrabbly, scrackly cow in the paddock and think, oh, I'm, oh, I can fix it, I'll save it. And I have done that. It doesn't work out all the time. So when you're cow shopping, have a list of what you want. This is what I want from my house cow, right? Um, I want her to have a nice nature and to be able to be handleable and not shy on the head a She's lot. Probably the most important thing. Absolutely. Right? Like you need to be able to handle your cow. 
Well, that comes here on my list, and A2 yeah. status comes here for yeah. me because I've tried all the milks and I think they're all great. Yeah. Um, that's a totally different scenario. <laughs> but yeah. for me, it's temperament and can I handle that animal and is that animal safe to be around my children yeah. and my other animals? Yeah. Right? So sometimes a cow will just gore the crap out of yeah. one another cow or another animal in a paddock or whatever. Yeah. Um, I'm all about the harmonious homestead, right? Yeah. So that's the number one thing. The second thing for me would be, hey, am I allowed to come and like watch you milk herd or have that experience, see you do that? Um, I don't think you guys would ever buy a cow again that hadn't calved under mm. promise. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? That's right. Yeah. Which Could is why we've been waiting for this cow that we're mm. getting to have her calf. Yeah. Can, yeah. I, can I just say, going back to the temperament thing, um, you might have seen the story where we went down and picked up a cow um, for Mel. It was an emergency rush where we had to fly down and get this cow. Oh, that was the story of Bessie. Bessie. Yeah. So Bessie is awesome. Bessie is still really awesome, right? She's so pretty. Um, where we get our cows from, um, well, the relationship that we have is really awesome. But we went down there to pick him up, pick her up, and the, the farmer that deals with them, he's got thousands of cows, I kid you not, and they got, they're all rotated around, and some have got names, some haven't. But when it comes to the babies, I was like, oh, how are we gonna get this baby? He's walked up to this thing, put his fingers in his mouth, and walked And said, come on. Come on, and literally walked this cow out to our car, which went in the back of the car, which is great. Um, but he did and she it. she just like, and so out. he has just this connection and I don't even know how he does it but he's literally got thousands of cows and has a connection with it. Everyone we've brought home from the boys, I mean JT's a bit of a jerk but he is uh, he is very respectful for us and we're, we're stoked he's with him. He's not dangerous. He's not dangerous. No, and I, he's never been aggressive. No, no. He's just like, Standoffish. A, he just he's like wanna... a teenage boy who doesn't want to go to math class. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Bessie, you know, look, you look at those the, everyone that picked up is because of the way that he has this great ability to work with. The relationship he has with his cows reflects on everything that we've purchased from him. Yeah. So I think temperament is awesome. He's also very honest. Yes. Um, and you have had the ability to go to his place and see how, the quality of care yeah. that he puts into his animals. Yeah. Yep. So that again goes back to what I'm saying with if he's willing to open up, and he'd be a busy dairyman, oh, right? I feel bad I've never seen him. a man so busy yeah. in my life. If he's got the time to say, yeah, guys, and he's not saying, no, you wait at the gate, mm. I'll bring you a cow. Yeah. He's like, welcome. Yeah. yeah. Um, he's he's nothing got to hide. Yeah. He's, you know, he's transparent. But he's also ethical mm. and he's responsible and loving to his animals, which yes. is where they're going to go next, right, yeah. to ours. Yeah. So... That's a relationship you maintain. If you go to buy a cow from someone and they're like, Stay there. Yeah, oh, yeah, no. Nah. And I've had it. Mm. I want to deposit, da da da. When you really let you get near the cow and you think, Oh, what's going on here? And do you pick it up? And pick up a cow that's feral. Yeah, um, and sometimes in order just to sell that animal, um, you'll tell people things out of desperation or a hundred other reasons right yeah. yeah um so you can fall upon some difficult times if you're doing that right yeah um that's why we want to do what we're doing yeah. um we're in wa finding a which is western bread. australia not washington sorry yeah. western australia for all the other yeah. <laughs> all our american viewers yeah all three of them <laughs> um and they are rare as Rare as hen's teeth, yeah. honestly, to get. Um, and a good one, mm. forget about it. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Um, I've, I have been so lucky to get Deirdre. She's not a massive producer. So again, your list. What do you want out of an animal? Yeah. What these guys want out of an animal might be different to what I want out of an animal. And it is. We, it is. We've got the same yeah. type of animal, but we've got two different types. So the same. Yeah, yeah. With two different expectations from that animal. We'll use our bulls for example. Um, Jetson is A1, A2. Yep. So he would have got the scrub from you guys because yep. you were looking at A2, A2. Yep. Yes. Um, I like that he's polled and I like his colouring. I like, I like that he's polled too. 
I don't care about the pole because at the end of the day we've we dropped, we, we know that we can we know how to but, fix it. But that we know now. where all these things fit in our yes, list. Right. At, um, yep. And it's a handy to have. Have that list. Mm. Yeah. Do yeah. That. His colouring is beautiful. His yeah. stature is exactly what you were after. Like yeah. he's a I, and I don't like his colouring. And yeah, his stature doesn't do anything for me. Um, so it's funny that it's the same man. Yeah, and I do because you know, like we also want uh, from our cow, we want a large producing cow. And Mel, to this point, I don't. She, she just wants ten or fifteen want, liters a day. Yeah, I want a. She just wants ten or fifteen liters a day. Get, get yeah. that every <laughs> day and next day and the next day. I was gonna say day. forever. <laughs> that starts to spew out of the fridge like a Tupperware cupboard. Do I tell you that much? <laughs> we <laughs> we that. actually just went. I'm gonna bathe new... in it. <laughs> it's bath milk. <laughs> we, we actually just bought a new double door fridge just for milk. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So there are so many things to consider, and we hope to be able to share with you guys our experience doing this yeah, yeah. from start to, to yep. finish sort yep. of thing yeah and look we're great that. friends i also urge you guys to sit down and do a business plan and expectations as well a hundred percent i mean we've, got, we've been friends for a long time and we've had other adventures and stuff together um and we've also sat down again with a new contract of basically this is what we want to do for each other um because so at the end of the day community is important and yeah. friendship is important yeah. and friendship is not worth oh. souring over yeah. something like this. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. Like, so you make sure you get your expectations down on paper so and you sit down and you read, the them, read them out to each other and if it's not working, just don't do it. Yeah. Like, don't honestly, feel pressured into because it. Because what will end up happening is Resentment. You resent it, or you kick them. They kick you off the farm, or you don't want to go to the farm, or whatever. They don't, they don't and then you've you, got some cow. They don't give you your calf at the end yeah. of it. Or you know, like, and all of a sudden you've got some, <laughs> you've got some cow that's got no place to go, or, or you don't. Because you've been irresponsible. You've been, yeah, yeah, you haven't done the right thing. So make sure you sit down and get it all out in the open. Um, it's pretty easy it's for so us. It's so easy at the beginning, though, to go, no, no, we're friends. Nothing's yeah, going to yeah. happen like that. We trust each other. We yeah. love each other, blah, blah, blah. But yeah. you never know. Like, there's a saying, don't go into business with friends. French, yeah. And family, no. And family, yeah. yeah. For a reason. Yeah. So even if there is, like, endless trust and endless yeah. love. Like, to us, that, money doesn't even really, like, money doesn't matter to us when it comes in this circle. It's like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. It, whatever happens, you know. Uh, we've got our cows out here, and if they, one dies, it's, it sucks. One but, dies. There's, yeah, no, there's going to be no it's, blame. It's games. not going to be blaming their friends or anything. So, like, that's that's how pretty brutal it is with us, with our friendship. It's like, yeah, whatever happens. But even still, you want to have something of expectation. It would in be place. wise yeah. to have it set up properly. Yeah. And, Just and another one would be to think about what the worst case scenario would be right yeah we've negated a lot of that yeah. because if we bought the cow prior to calving what would have happened is oh no i get my cow but you get a bull calf yeah. that's not what you're after yeah. yeah so we went no 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 we're not doing it that way we're going to make sure the cows have the calf and yeah. everyone's getting what they're after mm -hmm. try and think of your worst case scenario right yeah. what happens if xyz what happens if we bring the cows back here. No, that was good. What happens if we bring the cows back here? Just swap it sort of and, yeah, well, and um, in three months' time, our calf dies in their paddock. What happens then? Yeah, discuss it. Yeah, make sure you know what your plan of attack is. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. What is your plan of attack? What? No, it won't work. But. <laughs> Well, it can't now because it's it's been born. Yeah, but if it's it gets bit by it's This is part of snakes. This is what happens when you. Would you yeah. graft another heifer on? Yep. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. Um, Why wouldn't? Why wouldn't you? Um. Make sure you're set up as well before you get a cow. Yeah, definitely. So make the decision: Are you going to hand milk? Are you, are you going to use a machine? Milk? What machine are you going to use? What, if, what time are you going to milk your cow? I would definitely... Do daylight savings matter to you? <laughs> Maybe here in WA, when they did the daylight saving referendum and everyone's like, No! My cows will be confused! I get that now. Oh my goodness. No, um, like I seriously get that. And you can say, oh my goodness, because you haven't had a cow standing at your window going, 
I'm in Greenwich. I don't wake up to the clock. I wake up when I'm ready anyway. So you know what I mean? It's it's when the sun comes up, it's I'm up. So well, that that's why we're going to be moving later. Anyways, <laughs> um, so another Milk thing. Milk in is, the evening. <laughs> you can. Yeah. Another thing is teat size. Like we have spoken about it, but teat size, teat Ooh, size, teat if size. If you're machine milking, don't get really big fat ones. Oh, but still, I look but at it. They're so good for no, the no. Hair. If it breaks, Bonnie's milking. got dual purpose teat. Yeah. She's got very lo long, fat teat, yeah. and they go on a machine fine. Yeah. Brilliant. However, if most people, like, I don't know how many times I've said this on my videos. If the power's out, or someone's That's exactly the right. cord out, yeah. or whatever, you need to be able to still relieve your You look at your, English when you had, to, you had to milk the, um, which one was it? Oh, Deirdre was the and one. she's there with her little fingers. No, like, you try and pull 10 metres out, that's ridiculous. Oh, I remember you came here, and you actually had a thing. Tunnel. Was, I did, it was horrible. It was horrible. so crazy because your machine wasn't Make working. Make sure you can hang up. Yeah, it's, if, you never know. Do you need to learn how to hand milk before you get your cow? Is right. there someone that you can visit to teach you how to hand milk your cow properly? Because if you don't know how to do that, then... You just go and find someone. Yeah. Oh yeah, and that's I why community say, is important. I wouldn't say don't do the cow, I'd no. be like, find learn. someone. Learn, learn how to do it. Yeah. Learn what you're going to do with all that milk. Because it's a lot. Oh yeah, it's and you know, it's not easy. It's not like, here's all the milk. Yay! Um, Make finish. all the things now. You can't do that. It, it's a it's a whole day. Oh yeah. At best. Is, yeah. At best, and it's a whole day. Yeah. So find the reality of it mm. first of all, and the good thing about doing a sh cow share scenario, mm. um, we should create a hashtag cow share. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, is it ride share? Yeah. Ride share. Moo share. Moo share. Moo share. Mooshare. Oh, Mooshare. Mooshare is that new thing. Oh, Molly. Molly's a nice name for a cow. Yeah. Oh, oh look, something shiny. What anyway. <laughs> what was that over there? <laughs> What's something Missy. shiny? Where do the kids get it from? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, Mooshare. Mooshare. Yeah, We're doing we Mooshare. Hashtag Mooshare. Hashtag Mooshare. Um, and I think the th thing that can be applied to anything, um, as long as everyone is under agreement mm -hmm. everyone has outlined their pros Terms and cons and what they what they're after and mm. you know being mm. able to safely air their what ifs yeah. um and all good so and also you could do it 10 we could choose to do it 10 other different ways it's always flexible you Just could also flexible. do it with more than one per more than two people you could. Like, honestly, yeah, if you're going to have that much milk... If Amanda and Corey wanted to get in yeah. on a deal, yeah. there's a way that you could... We could yeah, yeah, like, you could out. literally have it Absolutely. so that... Absolutely. Yeah, like, you could say, okay, we get the next cow, or then the next one after that, it might be ready. Or, you know what I mean? There's yeah. no shortage of milk. There's so much milk, you can have it coming out your ears. So, maybe more than more than one person. But so, for the... And that makes costs come down yeah. a bit, too. Sharing. Absolutely. Yeah. So... In essence, really, what's most important is the cow, mm. and whether that cow and your capability. Yeah, absolutely. Like, be realistic with your capabilities. Mm. Yeah. If you know that you won't be able to sustain it for a long period of time. Yeah. Um. But on that note, I reckon it's time for some mints. <laughs> <laughs> some some Harvey. Some meat. Harvey meat. So, shall we go have dinner? We're going to go have dinner and share a meal together. Yep. We love to do that. Do. Um, our kids, you might have heard them all in the background. <laughs> They're running and hollering. They're, you get them all together, there's a lot of children. Yeah. Yeah. But they all yeah. love each other, so it's great. It's Thank you so together. much for joining us, you guys. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Thank and you. Mel. And yeah. Um, we can't wait to show you how this plays out and the beginning of the story. Can I add a challenge in? Mm. Comment below about the possible ideas. Even if it's just like, oh, that might be an idea. If you even think it's silly, don't. Mm. Everything is possible. Comment it, it I want to hear it. Yeah, because we will respond else, to each and every one. And someone else might go, Oh, they I might come and go, oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, so I want to do that. Yeah, just yeah. Like well, so and so like will do that with us. Or well, if you have any questions about what we're doing or, or how we handled it or anything, any questions, pop them down below. Um, or if you know someone who is 
wanting a cow, send them the video. Mm. Yeah. But also, um, we're, we love having people around. So we love to meet you guys. Yeah. yeah. Come out, milk a cow, learn how to, all those sorts of things. Meet the Hit baby. us up. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll we'll do it. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. From ours Let's to yours. Go, go boss.